think um, illicit drug use in society is clearly a, a huge issue that everyone's struggling to, to deal with. Um, football's not going to be immune to that, so um, I think we need to be realistic about the impact that it has on sport, you know, particularly in the communities, but I think it is an issue for society to deal with. And, it's, it's not about law enforcement. Law enforcement across the world hasn't been able to solve drug use. It's about empowering individuals to make the right choice in any given situation, and that includes the use of illicit substances. I think everyone um, has experiences with them in, in one form or another. Um, certainly, you know, growing up and, and uh, being around a football club and other types that, that are attracted to, to football clubs in terms of the, the nightclub scene, you get exposed to illicit drug use. Um, in my role at the moment at the Players Association, we deal with past players who might be struggling around addiction, including illicit drug use. But um, again, I think it, it's about being able to educate uh, people and to empower them to, to understand who they are as a person so that they develop their own set of values, their own moral compass so that they can make ethical decisions in any given situation. That's the biggest challenge from my point of view is the upfront work we put into our people as opposed to putting more rules, regulations and policies in place that have, have been proven throughout history not to work. Yeah, so my role is essentially an advocacy role. So we represent all AFL players in relation to collective bargaining. Um, the illicit drugs policy is something that was introduced 10 years ago. Um, the AFL players actually led the way, uh, the first sport in Australia um, to introduce an illicit drugs policy outside the anti-doping code. Um, they remain the only sport that I'm aware of that actually releases their results from year to year in relation to the illicit drugs policy and, and how it's operating. Um, so I think it's, it's quite unfair some of the criticism they're subject to in terms of not taking a strong enough stance in relation to illicit drug use because of that leadership role they have played. And it is a medical model based on expert advice from drug and alcohol um, specialists. So it's designed to actually identify players who need assistance so that we can then provide them with the education and counselling they need to shift their behaviour, getting them back on track. And there's numerous cases where it's actually been used successfully from that point of view um, with respect to players who are now really um, admired players within the AFL competition. So I believe in the policy. I think it's part of the, the solution, not part of the problem but we do not need to strike the right balance in terms of it helping players, but also acting as a deterrent to try and stop that use.